What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Get into another reaction. You know what time it is? It's time for solo leveling. Holy shit. This show, I was already loving it from the beginning, from episode one. I mean, literally the strongest start that I've seen in an anime in a while. I mean, most animes do have a strong start, and then there's some shows, even if they're not anime, that you know it takes a little bit while you know to get into to like really start feeling the vibe of it or like it really starts to pick up this shit hit the fucking ground running and i've been loving it so much so where you know last week i've gotten so much love on this past episode from last week episode six on youtube especially on tiktok uh you know because i always post some clips or at least one clip per video maybe sometimes multiple clips per video but usually just one clip per video to upload to my respective social media and it went fucking crazy it it's a uh, i think currently uh around like 200 2, views or something like that right now my most viewed clip on my tiktok period it took the number two spot like it got to like twenty thousand or something views like it took the, it took the top two spot on my tiktok within like 24 hours and the next 24 hours within a total of 48 hours it had hit 100k and it, it was just blowing my fucking mind and uh so that's why i want to start with is just thanking you guys for all the love on that uh i know some of y'all that are watching this might not be following me on all of my social media and not on tiktok but i got so much love from uh the clip of sungjin just absolutely going in against uh that dude squad and you know giving them what they deserve like you guys didn't show me any mercy three times you tried to kill me so guess what i ain't showing you any mercy either the fuck i look like Y'all tried to kill me three times. I'm not about to fucking show mercy. Especially to the last guy that was begging for it. Because he's like, oh shit, he took out my team like it was nothing. And then, once he realizes that, and then he's fucking sitting on the ground after he got fucking face planted with that bitch. He, was, he started pleading for his life. It's like, no bro, it don't work like that. You don't get to just get away with killing people over and over again. Thinking you're hot shit and can continue to get away with it. And then the moment that the fucking shit hits you in the ass... Or bites you in the ass for for doing that for so long and now you're finally gonna face the consequences and pay for your own actions you don't deserve mercy bro i'm sorry so that was a clip i uploaded tiktok it did absolutely fucking amazing this last week has been you know a real fucking treat for me and also uh youtube the full video reaction you know is doing really well not as well as tiktok obviously um but it's th th those are two different things so we got the long format content which is the full video of the reaction and then we have a little clip that i post on you know tiktok which is like four minutes of like the main thing that happened last episode and it went crazy but youtube it still did really well i think it's almost at like 500 views i think it stopped around like or it's capped right now like not too many people have um gotten into it the past couple days but I th it's like around like 470 something like that which is still really good for my channel i mean i average my you know long form actual full reaction videos usually uh average around like 100 something views you know maybe a little bit less than 100 maybe a little bit over 100 but usually around there and then uh it's the same for one piece one piece that last episode uh 1093 fucking absolutely amazing that's uh sitting at around seven eight hundred views like almost 800 views i think which is pretty normal for one piece like one piece some episodes you know it's not as hype you know they're going to be doing the average number like i said around 100 views but then you have some hype ass episodes like that which you're going to start pushing up to a thousand views and maybe even more sometimes which uh is just i love to see it it's just it just shows that the consistency and the hard work is paying off so i can't thank you all enough without further ado low let's get into this episode episode seven i mean we don't really have to talk too much about last episode we know what the fuck happened sung jimu was tired of the bullshit the system's telling him to kill these people because they're threatening to kill him so it's like all right the system wants me alive so be it i'm gonna fucking do what i gotta do and if you don't regardless you're gonna die like even though the system said that his heart was gonna stop if he doesn't do this you were your heart's gonna stop when they fucking literally kill you like by slitting your throat or cutting your head off or whatever like you're gonna die either way so you, this is the only way out and it, it, it kind of brings this dark turn into the show showing that you know there's you're gonna have to deal with crooks like this you might have to do something that you didn't think you were capable of or didn't think you were going to ever do which was in Sung Jin Woo's case killing another human being and the first person he took down he was like I just did that it's like this this is a line that he's crossing you know what I'm saying uh, which he might have to do again in the future. You never know. Like, I'm sure this group is not the only group or the 
you know there, there might be e even individuals that put on the persona that they're a nice upstanding person but then they do underhanded shit like this so i'm sure this is not going to be the last time that we see some criminal crook activity in this world of solo leveling i'm just interested to see you know when that may be or like what other problems arise in the future possibly for sung Jun Woo. uh and seeming one of those might be is fucking this dude's brother because he was like do you know who my brother is blah, blah, blah. right before he died he got his head cut off we we're like we don't give a fuck but it showed us a little teaser of somebody that they didn't show us their face right away in the uh at the end of the last episode so i'm assuming that's we're gonna get formally introduced to him this episode which we're all assuming is his brother that we saw at the end of last episode and i guess see his stand on this you know i was saying like he could be in on what his brother was doing but didn't approve of it so he's like oh fuck i told that motherfucker just fucking chill out and he's not gonna really care because he, he knows he was doing fucked up shit or he's also somebody that does underhanded fucked up shit and he's gonna be blindly loyal to his brother and, and seek revenge and if that does happen looks like sung jun woo's got another fucking enemy to face we're about to find out Let's get in the episode. Let's get in the reaction. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Solo leveling, episode seven. Damn, okay. Opening right out the gate. I fuck with that. Get this shit out the way because I'm trying to watch some shit. What the fuck happens next? Let's fucking get it, baby. What we doing? What we get into this episode? Okay, back to the Hunter Association. Oh, he's getting the, he's getting the information on him. He's gonna real he's gonna recognize who was a part of it. He's gonna be like, yo, he survived another fucking crazy dungeon. I mean, not as crazy as the first one. They haven't seen him since then, yet too. They they don't know what he looks like now, or like how how much stronger he looks. The infamous. Yeah, his younger brother is a big shot, bro. <laughs> yeah, because he couldn't make any good fucking money before. That man is strong now. No, they were assholes and I killed them. I'm not gonna tell you that though. Because you're my sister. Hey, sit. Yeah, sis. I fucking killed all of them. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, he fucking delivered, bro. Like, he did not hesitate. He was thinking about his actions and what he had done the first kill, but he fucking went in. Yeah, okay, good. At least he's remembering his true motivation and his true goals and why he's doing all this. Harmful substance. I'm <laughs> calling her out like that, like, damn, bro. <laughs> oh, interesting. So he can't get drunk anymore. Well, what a fucking buzzkill. <laughs> it's good for him. It's good. It's good in the long run, though. I mean, if you think about it, like, alcohol is fucking terrible for you. You know what they say, though. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> oh, shit. He's calling to check up on him, or...? Yeah, don't worry, little sis. I can't even I can't even do shit no more. I can't even get drunk. System just takes care of that for me, you know what I'm saying? Get, get rid of the toxins. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. Yeah, exactly. It was self fucking defense. Oh, he wants to make a team and invite him into the team. 
Okay, what is what? Why, why is it so specific? Nineteen twenty raids mm -hmm. is that like a requirement to become a guild master? Oh, you have to be licensed. Ah, that's why he said nineteen because he's already done one technically. What would a construction company need a guild for? Oh yeah, everybody wants everybody wants the essence stones and mana crystals. Yeah, it's money at the end of the day. Yeah, monetary value. It's always money. It's always fucking money. There's only seven of them? Oh, that healer dude. <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I see that. It kind of works out for both of them. Like, he's hiding his power and getting experience and leveling up at the same time while he gets to look good and, get, and, and build up his resume, essentially. Damn! 19 C rank raids in exchange for 30 billion. Bro, he would be up. He would take care of all the expenses for, for everything. All good. This is a good deal. This is a good fucking deal. Oh, what? Because what, what's their currency? It's like Juan or something, right? Juan? Yeah, like 30 billion sounds like a lot, but it's not like a sh it's not like 30 billion US dollars, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what if you if you if I don't, you're you're going to do what? Tell somebody? Okay, this is the guy. Yep. Bro, this is fucking Sakuna! This voice actor is in everything! Does he not- is this not the same voice actor? Bro, that's him. I don't give a fuck. That's him. The, the, the tone is just way deeper. I'm- I swear... I swear it's him. Damn, bro, this voice actor is literally in everything! He might be my favorite. He might be my favorite voice actor at this point. I, I swear to God. I notice his voice anywhere. I could be wrong, but that sounds smack like the voice actor I'm talking about, just deeper tone. He's not happy. I swear that's the same voice actor, I swear. And he looks fucking wild right there. So, we got our answer. He wants fucking revenge. I don't know how he already knows that something's up, you know what I'm saying? So maybe he's oblivious. Maybe he didn't know that his older brother was a fucking dickhead and doing stupid shit. <laughs> he's like, yo, this is too easy for me, bro. I gotta, I gotta kick it up a notch. Let's say 11 out of 10, he went, he went a little extra. Yeah, I thought I saw that. Damn, so he's gonna start going over and get some fucking insane, like, overtime training in. <laughs> he wants to see how much longer he can go until it, like, caps. Cuts off a double, okay. Blessed and cursed. You have two options between blessed and cursed. I wonder what's in the curse, bruh. That sounds fucking wild. That key don't look good. <laughs> Just in the color and everything, red. The demon's castle? Acquisition difficulty S? What did he read? What, what do you get out of this? What do you get out of this? 
Elixir of life. Oh, wow. So he's going to try and do this for his mom. But is that something that he can use on other people, even though they're not a part of the system? Because he's the only one that sees all this stuff and interacts with this kind of stuff. So is the elixir of life going to be able to be used like how he thinks on his mom? Or is it only going to be able to use on him? And if that's the case, then he's going to waste his time. Maybe not waste his time. He's definitely going to fucking get stronger, but still. I'm already thinking about that. If that's if it's really going to work how he thinks it's, it's going to. If so, fucking blessed. Literally a blessed loot box. Like, what? I can save my mom? He's going right in. About to find out. About to find out. That's right, he does have a teleportation stone in case. Alright, say less. We got a fucking fail safe. What's up, Cerberus? God damn! That shit looks crazy! <laughs> you! Hell's gay. And his name is literally Cerberus! Don't play with me, bro! Don't fucking play with me, bro! Damn! Yeah, pull out that fucking OP ass dagger. Let's go! Get the fucking work! Oh, yo, the animation is so clean, bro. A1, A1's been killing this shit. Same with Mashal. They've been doing their fucking thing, bro. Murderous intent. He's using it. There we go. Paralysis and drain. Damn, this shit's no joke. Ooh. Oh my god. Fucking with him like a rag doll. He just lose an arm? He just lost a Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Cerberus chill, bro. Damn, yo, no, this is no joke, bro. We might have to use that teleportation stone. We gotta get the fuck. Oh nah. Oh shit, dude. That total recovery, yeah, he's got his arm back, okay. Bro, this shit is fucking you up, dude. You gotta be on your ten toes, bro. Nah, nah, the end, no, nah, they're, bro, you just, some of you think the last episode was fucking gas? We get even more gas. Classic tactic, kick up sand and dust in their fucking eyes. Try and buy you some time. No shit, it's, it hasn't been normal from the get-go, brother. I thought you already found that out. Careful. Better not drop that shit. Oh, fucking God, bruh. I saw this shit coming, bro. Oh, you, you got shit ton of potions, bro. So he, he might be fighting this fuck- he might be fighting Cerberus for a while. Damn, only for a hundred? Is he gonna drink it? Yeah, he's drinking it. I thought at first he was gonna try and somehow get it- get the Cerberus to swallow it. You, be, you better be ready! Oh my goodness, dude, he's getting rocked right now. I'm ready. I'm ready for you to go crazy. I'm f this this triumphant fucking music, bro. My boy Hiroyuki Sawano, come on, dude. You hype me up for a reason. You hype me up for a reason. Mm, multiple. There we go. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, come on. Let's go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my God, bro. This shit is brutal. Only 179 health, you better be careful. Oh my god, he's literally in its mouth. Oh! Bro. Right in the eye. Oh my goodness, getting dragged against the fucking buildings while still in its mouth? Yo, nah, the eyes, bro! Yo, nah! That shit is so fucking fire, bro! He defeated it? 
Oh my god, he actually fucking did it, bro. I didn't think we were gonna see this get done this episode. This episode heated the fuck up all of a sudden. Holy shit. Oh my god, four or five? Was that four or five level ups immediately? Now that was a tough opponent. That was a fucking tough opponent. Holy shit. It's gonna end right there, isn't it? Oh no, okay, we're good. Oh yeah, you're not even done yet, and you were fucking getting your ass whooped by Cerberus, bro. I mean, obviously you still beat it, like you're that guy, you know what I'm saying? But like, what the fuck is behind that door? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. All right, yeah. So he's he's going he's leaving for now. All right, best say less. Say le oh damn, it ends right there, bro. Oof. Oof. Damn, this shit is so gas, bro. Fuck. Alrighty, guys. What an absolutely another amazing episode of So Leveling. That was fucking amazing, bro. The first half of the episode, we were just getting a little bit more of info and kind of a look, jumping around multiple places and his afterthoughts of what happened last episode. He did, you know what I'm saying? And the weight of all that, you know, I think we caught up uh, right in the beginning pretty much with him or... Did we cut? Did we catch up with him right away? No, no, no. That's right. We started at the Hunters Association with that one manager that uh, uh, checked up on Song Jin Woo, the other manager, uh, early on in like episode two. We caught up with him being brought a report on what happened in that C rank dungeon that Song Jin Woo was part of, and then being informed that yes, he was one of the other hunters that survived. And so this is going to be very. I feel like he's going to be sought out by him again, or at least have some sort of meeting with him. Uh, maybe others of these Hunter Association, maybe the same two people, but definitely this, th that guy, since it was brought to his attention. He's probably going to go out seeking uh, to talk to him uh, because it's very intriguing that you have not only been a part of that double, double dungeon incident where you're pretty much the only one that survived, uh, or at least you were thought to be dead, but somehow you were alive. Very interesting, you know, thinking that he had a reawakening and all this because it's this is something that's never happened before, and they, and they were just kind of stump, stumped, stumped. They're like, what, what could have happened? And now you've also been a part of this C rank dungeon where six people died, and you survive yet again, and you're an E rank hunter. What the fuck are you doing in a C rank dungeon? And how do you survive? These are questions that are going to keep following him, and I'm feeling like, you know, it's like a part of the, it's going to be this dude, this main manager at the Hunters Association that's going to really be taking on, like, figuring him out. Like, figuring out what's really going on. At least that's what it seems like to me. So, we got that in the beginning, saw him catch up with his sister a little bit, you know, having some drinks, having some food, uh, them talking about, you know, his day that he had uh where he came across some money and that was the day that he went into that dungeon obviously he's thinking back to what he actually did and killed those people kind of starting to get a little anxious while she's you know asking about stuff like that uh, or how the day went and uh he kind of blinks out for a second and then you know he ends up finishing his meal early because he notices a message pop up like uh warning like the uh, harmful substance detected because he's drinking alcohol and so he takes the alcohol to his room and he chugs like fucking like a six pack. And he's like, huh, it's just getting rid of it. It's just decomposing the alcohol right away. So he can't get drunk anymore, <laughs> which is kind of funny because I was like trolling and, you know, being like, yo, well, <laughs> he can't have a fucking good time no more. But all in all, the system wants to keep him alive is what we're seeing, he, no matter the cost. Like whether he's fighting a beast, whether he's fighting humans, whether humans want to kill him, whether a beast want to kill him or fucking substances want to take your life early, that shit wants you to fuck alive, bro. So, alcohol is very bad for you in the body. So it's just automatically decomposing it for him where he he can't get drunk anymore and he doesn't have any of those bad side effects from getting drunk either. Because he can't get drunk. He's not going to ever be hungover again. He's not ever going to feel drunk again. Like, it's just, it's just like in and out. Like, it decomposes it effortlessly. So he figures that out. And then I think we catch up with Huang's brother, Huang was mentioning. We actually see him and hear him for the first time. And I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty fucking confident that that voice actor is the same voice actor that I know and love. Who voices Sukuna, who voices the blonde divine visionary in Mashal, voices Aomine from Kuroko no Basuke, voices this and that and that. Like he is everywhere, bro. I love him. And I could be wrong. 
it might not be him. I'm going I'm to do my research later once this season finishes up because I don't think there's any current data on the current voice actors that are working on the show. Maybe there is, but usually it takes a little bit uh, to get uh, who, like the whole cast, you know what I'm saying? At least in, the, in, in uh, over here in the West. I'm pretty sure that's him, just a, a, just a deeper tone. Like you can definitely tell his voice is deep. You know what I'm saying? But like the, the little nuances in the way he speaks and approaches the syllables, like it just, it, I'm pretty fucking sure that's the same voice actor, just a deeper tone. So I hope I'm right, because I pretty much fucking pick him out anytime I hear him in any fucking show. That's how much I recognize him. So hopefully I'm on the right track with that. Because you can definitely tell there's, it's definitely a lot different compared to his other characters where there's slight changes but it's pretty much the same tone of voice like sakuna and that blonde guy from the divine visionaries and mashal he voices those two characters and they sound pretty much fucking identical you know what i'm saying like one voice isn't too much higher than the other one voice isn't too much lower than the other like they're pretty much in the same range this character has a much deeper voice but I, I'm pretty fucking confident it's him. So we found out that, saw him, and also kind of got our answer in him. Yeah, it looks like he wants to. He, he wanted to know who the two survivors were, and he doesn't seem too happy about his brother's death. So he's gonna go and probably confront these two survivors, Yo Jin Ho and Sung Jin Woo. And I, I don't know what he's. It seems to me that he might be completely oblivious to his brother's actions, and maybe like from the look of him, and also just like uh, uh, his voice and you know everything, his persona that we've gotten in the first couple minutes that we've seen him on screen, he seems like somebody that is cocky as fuck, and he knows he will fuck anybody up in front of him, and he's pretty much been able to get through life like that up until now, where he can just pretty much walk all over people, and nobody's gonna say shit because they can't do shit. He will fuck your shit up if you say something. So that's the vibe I'm getting from him. So I feel like it doesn't matter what you would say to him. Like he's just, he just wants his own, he's on his own agenda. Like he wants to know what the fuck is good with these two survivors and really get the true story and, you know, probably take revenge. So he, I, I'm pretty sure he's oblivious to his brother's underhandedness. Um, and if he isn't, then he might be, he might be underhanded himself just in the vibe that we're getting from him. We just haven't learned any more of like what he's, really done in his career and uh if he was oblivious to it then i don't really know why he's seeking them out like, I, like it seems like it's pretty much what i thought like the the path where he's going to be blindly loyal to his brother and just ignore all the stupid ignorant shit he did and he met his end justifiably like i'm sorry like your brother met his end <laughs> exactly how he should have because he was fucking killing people and that's what happens you can't get away with that forever bro saw that and then we saw um i think uh sung jin woo and his sister uh going for a jog or a run obviously sung jin woo being able to do <laughs> way more than she can or at least you know uh, because he's been leveling up and getting stronger like it's effortless for him and then he realizes that he can go over uh the amount you know that is required for the daily quest for his daily training and he figures out that the cap is actually double what the requirement is. So 10 kilometers, the cap is 20. 100 sit-ups, squats, push-ups, the cap is 200 for all of them. So he goes ahead and caps all of them out, and all of a sudden it turns into a secret quest, and that's how he got this key to the demon's castle, or the demon's whatever. And so uh, he notices there's a reward for, the, for doing this, or, or for going here and exploring and, and being able to survive this or whatever. Uh, chances of finding this elixir of life which apparently cures any illness or disease no questions asked and so i'm already thinking like okay of course he's going to do this for his mom but is this going to work on somebody that isn't a part of the system like can he use things from his interactions with the system and the things that he can do in his own instance dungeons and his own items like can he use those with other people or is it only pertained to him? Because so far, I'm pretty sure it's only been pertained to him, at least with the dungeons. Like, they can't, nobody knows where these dungeons are besides him. These instance dungeons. But maybe the items and stuff are free game. And if that's the case, then, that, then he really can save his mom, which is fucking amazing. Like, I mean, truly lives up to the title of this box that he just opened. Blessed 
random loot box. And there was another option. There was cursed random loot box. So I wonder if he's ever going to choose that because that just, that is just intriguing. I'm sorry. That is just so intriguing. So I don't know. Maybe we'll find out, you know, later down the line if he ever does. But truly a blessed random loot box. Like he is it, literally giving him a chance already, like in his mind to be able to save his mom. So he's like, nope, of course I'm going to fucking do this shit. Goes in there fucking is faced with this Cerberus three headed dog that is guarding the gate to the castle has to deal with it. I mean, really pushes him to his fucking limits. I mean, he was at like 100 health at one point where he was like one more hit and he was fucking gone. And he was learning new things as he was doing this too. Like he was like, Oh yeah, I can, I can, I can go to the store and he, he bought a couple potions, but they don't, they only heal so much health. It's not like one potion. Boom. You're full health again. Like, nah, it doesn't work like that. He even used a full recovery again. Yeah, it really pushed him to his fucking limits. And now he has a really good understanding. Of, okay, I, I have a pretty good idea of how strong I am now. And the animation of that whole thing looked fucking sick, bro. A1 Pictures is bodying this solo leveling and national, but especially this. Like, solo, like they're doing a great job. And it's living up to the hype of, uh, you know, the Manwa readers, as far as I know, because, I mean, Manwa is in color. Like, so the shit already looks fucking dope. So you got to really go in for some of these moments in this animation of this manhwa because it's already in color, bro. Like you got to go in and they're doing just that. And I think, it, I think it looks amazing. Whole fight was fucking amazing. And it's already hyped me up for what's to come next. Like I need this next episode now, bro. Like he's like, yo, I, if I go in there, I'd probably fuck, I'm probably going to fucking die. But and then I think it left off on that. So he's like, I'll be back. And so, so I think he's leaving and then he's going to come back eventually. So he might like go ahead and like take some time to level up and actually prepare properly for whatever is the fuck inside there. Then he's going to take action and, you know, see if he can actually get these ingredients for the formula for this elixir of life and bring it to fruition and save his mother. This is why he's, this is why he became a hunter in the first place, right? To be able to take care of his family, his sister, his, his mother, his dad went missing. You know, he's, he's like, you know, the one that it, he feels like he has to step up and take, take care of everybody. Right. So now he has the chance to do that, uh, through this game, through this system. He's not fucking taking any shortcuts. He, he saw that that was an opportunity to be able to save his mom. He's like, bet, say less. I'm fucking there. So I have a feeling maybe he might actually take up Yo Jinho on his offer and do those 19 C rank dungeons in the meantime, level up. Uh, also to just get a little bit of money, you know, to keep the expenses uh, on the back burner for a little bit and not have to worry about it. Uh, and then mainly, yeah, just to level up and gain some uh, experience and truly prep for whatever the fuck's in that castle. So I'm excited, bro. This, this show is, this show is it, bro. I fuck with this, bro. This is a nice breath of fresh air. It's nice and new. It's been, it's been amazing from the start. Like I said, it hit the ground running. Episode one, you get to the end of it, and you're like, holy shit, I want more. And it's been pretty much like that every week. Like, I can't wait for... I, Saturdays is up, bro. Saturdays is so lit. So, yeah, I think that does it for me. Another amazing episode of Solo Leveling. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell to see the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.